to friends and family. It's another day to be with you in joy in kitchen to give God thanks, give God praise, to give God glory and honor. And guys, today I'm gonna make you, I don't know if you remember, we went on the road, we do shopping, right? And we buy our green planting. You remember this one green planting, guys? Yes, because we didn't get any green banana. And we, and we buy two sweet potatoes, but I'm not gonna use two, guys. I'm just gonna use one. Yes, guys, just one sweet potato. And do you remember we buy the cinnamon, right? And we buy the coconut cream, we buy nut and eggs, and we buy coconut powder. All of these guys, we're going to use it. Yes, guys, I have some mushroom, not mushroom, sorry, sea moss soaking for you guys. Yes, some sea moss. And I'm gonna blend everything together, guys. Yes, you remember the vanilla we buy? And I'm gonna put a little sea salt in my water. Um, I have some oat flour to blend everything in, guys. And guys, what I'm gonna use to sweeten it, guys, I'm gonna use either honey or agave right so depends on which one I, you have a choice you can use so it's either only or a garble guys i will use so guys i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with what everything here guys so i'm going to rest these right here so i'm going to peel my sweet potato guys because i cannot use it with the skin on guys so the sound that you hear in the background guys is calypso rose and it's from sound cloud music guys and you know it's just relaxing and nice guy i just like the beat of it and everything like that is a nice little calypso beat music song guys so i'm peeling my sweet potato guys that we can get to put into our porridge guys and I know um, some people, or maybe a lot of people is the first they're going to hear um, planting the sweet potato porridge and sea moss in it, guys. So I invent this for myself, guys. I like it. It's very healthy for me, guys. So this is very simple meal, very cheap meal. It's not expensive for the ingredients. It costs less than $5, about $5, guys to make a bowl of porridge or a pack of porridge for the whole family guys that we can get to eat and drink right so this is how we raise we grow up guys we never know about cereal and things like that guys we grow up on the natural the real stuff guys we, what we grow up on caramel porridge plant porridge banana porridge corn porridge anime corn porridge all of those things guys oats porridge we grow up and when we were growing up guys we don't know anything about syrup so i'm just taking you back down memory lane with these things guys that we grow up on um that you can learn a little of our tradition and for people back home or the young generation they can understand how we used to eat guys so I'm gonna wash my um my um planting and my potato. So I rent it out like this, guys. Yes. So now I'm gonna put it in my blender. So I put it like this, guys. Yes. enjoy drinking my plant and porridge guys and as you know when we went shopping we were looking for banana but we didn't get any banana so we have to use our plant kit so this is what i'm using with you guys today and i have my pot and the fire with my cinnamon stick inside here guys so it's there boiling in the meantime because we have to put it in 
hot water, we can put it in cold water guys. So that's what I have there. So now I'm gonna put in my sea moss inside here guys. That's my sea wa moss water. I'll put this over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna put some um, oats flour inside here. You can use whatever flour you want, but I'm just using oats at this time, guys. Okay. Then, guys, I'm going to blend these in that. That's how we're going to use it. So, I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. First time when we were little growing up, our parents have the grater. Yes, they use the grater. To grow it out. so we have so many things that we can use nowadays guys so let me blend it for you and show you guys this is my water right here boiling with my cinnamon stick inside here so now I'm gonna pour in my green plantain my green potato and my sea moss inside of it guys and this is something you have to constant stirring for it to get thick guys for it to come in together guys hope you can see what I'm doing so this is it guys and this is how we make porridge or this type of porridge in first time days a lot of people don't make porridge anymore or they, make, they don't make this type of porridge anymore guys so this is how our food parents usually make porridge guys yeah so that's how we did it in those days guys So we just have to constantly stir in it until it comes to a thick guys. So we don't want it to get thick up or anything like that guys. So this is how we do it. Normally people might use sugar, they use condensed milk in it guys but I'm not going to use none of that. I'm going to just use my um, agave or honey and my coconut powder in it, guys. So that's what is more healthy for me. So that's what I'm going to use. But for you guys, 
you can use anything that you want inside of it to sweeten it for yourself guys so this is how we make it you don't come together yet guys so this is my little peeny weenie peeny little spoon guys yes thank you guys for your comments and it to continue to use it yes so it's so nice and easy for me to use it guys so this is how we make our plant porridge guys so so when it come in together then i will just leave it for it to boil in but i have to constant stirring it for it to come together guys so this is how we make it yes guys but it's very de delicious when you finish it's really really delicious i love it guys you know you can have it for the whole family you can have it for all many days when you make it and any leave back guys you can put it in the fridge and you can re, re eat it the next day guys and you can have it but it's very good guys so i love these whole time ways of cooking guys go back down in memory lane there guys you know when you're a child and your grandparents making these porridge you just sit in the kitchen waiting for it to finish guy and when they finish and share it out who want theirs in the pot so it was a fight in the kitchen or in the yard because somebody want the pot because the bottom of it is so nice guys i remember those days they were so good though those were the days guys i'm telling you you know when our parents cook it was like okay i want my food in the pot or you know something like that guys and we in the kitchen we watch and see everything we help as a child growing up we help with everything so you know that's why we can cook the way how we cook guys because we all time in the kitchen and we have to help our parents and grandparents to do something in the kitchen something of a sort we have to help them to do guys so you know it is a good heart that you can learn how to cook and take care of yourself guys so as i said welcome to joy Heat kitchen where you find peace peace lead to joy joy lead to love and love leads to happiness guys and guys remember to like remember to subscribe and remember to share guys leave your comments tell me what you think guys oh my god this coming in guys it's coming in you turn on the stove i don't want it to boil over because of the sea moss in it i don't want it to boil over so this is so good guys so i'm going to leave it for it to cook in i will show you step by step what i'm doing as i take you along with me to make my green plantain sweet potato and sea moss porridge guys and this is gonna be so so delicious when it's finished guys so i'm gonna leave this for a few for it to boil in as you can see guys it's boiling it's cooking in right here guys okay guys this is it it's cooking in as i tell it take a little time for the green planting to cook in and for the sweet potato and the sea moss but as you can see guys it's coming in and everything like that so in the meanwhile it's cooking guys i'm gonna put in my salt because you know you have to put salt in it for it to get some taste if you don't have salt in it it's not gonna have any taste guys so let me put one teaspoon one of salt inside here guys yeah and as you know guys i use my um sea salt that's the salt that i use guys the music guys from some cloud music
So you turn your pot and you rock your music, you rock to it there. And in your kitchen and have fun guys yeah and I'm gonna put a little bit of nutmeg inside here guys for him to cook in in the meantime too guys yeah Your spice, it smells so good, guys. Smells so, so good, guys. Then I'm going to put a little bit of my vanilla inside there. And you cook in. Some people put it when they finish, but you know, in your own kitchen, you do what you want to do, how you want to do it in your kitchen. It's your freestyle. Come on, stuff. Why are you taking so long to open? Good. It's freestyle, guys. You do what you want to do in your kitchen. So, this is my vanilla. Yep. And as I tell you, my uh, cinnamon stick was in there already. So it's your freestyle cooking in your kitchen. guys I'm gonna put some of this coconut um, cream inside of it this one is the rock coconut as you can see yeah this is a hard one guys so I'm gonna put a little of it in there that's a cooking meantime with the two guys so I'm still gonna put my powder in here too to burst but that's how it it's here guys so this is the joy this is how I'm working with you today whether you like it or not you have to work with me like that so guys I'm working with it like that okay so this now you put it back in your bags and you keep this in your fridge until when you're ready to use it again guys so that's how you work with it okay and that's the coconut Cream, but this is a hard one guys so you let it stay and melt it so guys I'm gonna let this stay and cook in and then when we return we'll see how far it reach guys okay okay guys look at it it's coming in very nice hmm? wow this smells so so good looking so delicious guys this is a thing we grew up on yes our poor parents grandparents made this stuff for us guys yes very nice but guys i'm gonna put some more coconut milk i'm gonna do the powder so i have a little warm water a little bit of warm water just to dissolve the, um, the powder in it yeah that i can get to put it in it guys and can get to cooking I don't use no other milk as you can see apart from this coconut stuff guys so you can use whatever milk you want in your stuff guys you understand you have your try you know first time days we use like sugar and so in it and as I told you guys I'm not gonna use any sugar 
I'm just going to use my coconut milk and my agave um, in it or honey if you want to use it balanced. If you don't want to use sugar, you can use that. So that's what I'm using that. So, although I put in my the cream, the coconut cream inside here guys, the rock one, I'm still going to put some milk in it. So in case if you have to use your evaporated milk or whatever milk you want, this is the time you have to put it in guys. So there you go, and I'm going to leave this in for it to cook in. So this is the milk that I use. So as I said, you can use any milk of your choice. Right? So I'm using my coconut milk. Guys, and this looking so, so, so good. Yeah. Ooh. So see, you're in the kitchen, you can have fun in your kitchen and cooking at the same time. That's why I said in my kitchen, you find peace, peace leads to joy, joy leads to love, and love leads to happiness, guys. You understand me? So it is, it is nice to be in your kitchen that you can cook and enjoy your meal in love, peace, joy, and happiness, guys. So. As I said, I'm taking you guys down to memory lane where we used to have this type of food and it's less than $5 and you can have meals for your whole family for all many days, guys. So this is it. As I said, we didn't grow up or grow up on syrup. This is what we grew up on. This is what we used to eat every morning. It's a bowl of porridge bread <laughs> no we never used to eat bread in the morning guys you need to get a bowl of porridge you get a a cup of as a child you get a cup of bush tea as the time we used to call it media guys now they call it her you understand so we used to go up on our bush tea our mint guys we have our mint tea we have fever grass we have sour sap leaf tea and all of those things guys we used to have in the morning and when you get older the adults then they used to have their coffee and if we have chocolate tea we have the natural homemade chocolate tea guys that they make from the cocoa and everything like that so you know we grew up on the natural organic that they call right now stuff that we grew up on and we have to make it from scratch guys so you can see the process that it takes so i'm gonna leave this that's my milk to cook boiling as you can see see if you want to make it thicker you can but this is how we make our porridge guys and this is while well, you drink this is more very filling and so forth guys so it's good it's healthy it's nutritious for our body guys So I'm going to leave this now you get your cooking guys for you. Guys, look at my porridge. Wow. Guys, this looking so good. Smells so good. Oh my God. This is so good. Guys, this is ready. Ready to drink. Right? So see how easy, very smooth and everything guys. Very nutritious for you guys. You know, so this is my green plantain, sweet potato, sea moss porridge, guys. So I take you through the step. We went shopping. Now we are cooking, guys, in the kitchen. So you see the process that we go through, guys, to do this, guys. So uh, we're going to go back and we're going to, um, guys, we're going to look our green banana and we're gonna cook our green banana um porridge too guys and if you don't have sea moss you don't have to use it guys if you cannot get sea moss where you are you can just um blend the banana or the planting with your flour whatever flour you want to use guys if you want to use um oats 
not the old soil you can use the guys after you try what you want to do but for me as i show you what i did and guys this is what i'm gonna sweeten it with it, some agave syrup guys so this is the raw agave i'm gonna use any guys so yes we're gonna use the raw agave so i'm gonna show you guys what you put in the amount that you put and you're gonna sweeten it to your taste what you want in it so this is two this is three four five okay six teaspoon i put in here guys so hopefully it might sweet to my taste but it's up to you guys how you want to sweeten your stuff so i'm going to turn off my stove now guys how you want to sweeten your stuff guys if you want to use it with milk and all those stuff you you can guys right so with people who use the sweetened condensed milk you can use it for somebody who use sugar you can use it but for me guys i just use my agave syrup if you want to use your honey you can use it guys and this is it guys as i show you how i sweeten it and everything like that so i will taste it and see this is sweet to my taste guy so you're gonna sweeten it to your taste so let me get you get a spoon out here that i can taste my stuff guys and see if it's sweet okay so we're gonna taste this guy <laughs> yes it's for us okay because we go shopping we went shopping together we cook together and now we are tasting it together guys Mmm, guys, this is so good for me. It is good, and as I said, you sweeten it to your taste, guys. So, for me, I put six teaspoons of agave syrup inside there. If you want to put more, guys, you can. If you don't want to, it's okay. If you want to use sugar, if you want to use evaporated milk, whatever milk you want to use, guys, it's up to you, guys. So, I'll be back with you. As I say, guys. That is a finishing touch of my um porridge, my green um plantain, my sweet potato, and my sea moss mixed together porridge, guys. And as I said, you can use whatever you want to sweeten it, guys. And if you don't have sea moss, you can leave the sea moss out. But if you have it, you I show you the process, guy. And guy, it was a pleasure to have you in my kitchen. As I said, welcome to Joy Eat Kitchen where you have peace. Peace lead to joy, joy lead to love, and love leads to happiness, guys. Guys, remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to share, and remember to leave your comments. And guys, it was a pleasure to have you in my kitchen. It was a pleasure to go shopping with you. It was a pleasure for us. We can cook together as one guy. Have a good and blessed day until I meet you back in my kitchen. Another day, another time. Enjoy his kitchen. Have fun. Bye.